One more thing you can do is have a sub emitter. So I that, don't think yeah, we probably won't have time to do that. Is it, so what is a sub emitter? Obviously, it's an emission that's a sub emitter, but what happens and how does it work? That's a good question. So let's say we've got our flame here. Actually, let's say we're going to take our reactor and we'll set sub emitter to be our spark. Now, if I head down to sub emitter and enable it, is it constant? Is it at the end? So each particle, once it's done, now becomes a lightning particle. Now, because these ones are a very different speed, it looks very different, right? But this is how you would do that. Um, how many of them at the end do you want to do? Let's say we're going to do six. Uh, let's say you can also just do it at collision. So they don't do anything unless they collide with a, with a particle collider. You could do fireworks like this, couldn't you? You could have the, the single particle go up and then it, at the end of its life, it emits yeah, absolutely an explosion. Could. I have done um, a water particle. And when it hit a, a collision that I put around a fire, I put a, a steam particle. Nice. <laughs> right so there's a lot of fun things you can do here obviously we don't have a collider in here so it's not going to work let's say constant and our reactors there's 16 of them over is cat one moment there's 16 of them over at uh 0.25 thing so yeah that's one way you can have multiple particles happen at the same time i wouldn't actually put the spark in the center there but it's the thing you could do. You can play with the, the um, what do you call it? So you can play with the, oh, my brain is not working. There we go. You can play with uh, the velocities and so forth. They're really good. Speaking of velocities, one thing you might want to do, and this will be my last point before we take any questions. One, I'm a cat. Um, under particle flags, not under particle flags, where's my uh, velocity? Local coordinates, here we go. If you turn on local coordinates, the particle stays relative to its source. If you turn them off, you get trails. Oh, that's awesome. So it depends on what effect you want, right? Yeah. Like if I move this sphere, do I want that effect or do I want, uh, where are they? Local coordinates. Do I want this effect? That can throw people quite a lot, especially when you're trying to do like jet trails or anything like that. You don't actually want them staying there. You want them on the, the racer. And that, I think, is a good place to wind this up and see if we have any questions. I'm going to switch off share and then I'm going to give my cat some water because he won't stop meowing. I've I've gone back to us. That he's hey, singing second. the song of his people. I need water. Yes. So awesome work there, Jan. He's not here. I'm congratulating. It's fine. Uh, have has anybody got any questions about particles in? Yeah, I don't know if you guys could hear his cat, but I certainly could. Can a submitter have a submitter? There's a submitter and so on. Yes, yes, it can. It absolutely can. Um, obviously, you're going to get diminishing returns, right? Uh, apart from anything else, particles are pretty cheap, but they're not free. Having them as quads in build board mode helps a lot, but you can have them as spheres or any other mesh. Like that's that's the thing you can do. The other thing to bear in mind is if you do stack sub particles, you could end up uh, with one of those situations where you have a compounding effect, and even though you might only have one or two beginning ones, that could spiral out of control. Mm -hmm. Very true. Um, I should stop sharing my screen, right, so I can put my chat over there. Yeah. Good. yeah. Uh, I could make it so they're using Yan GDT. <laughs> yes, your your voice midway through has gone not 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 like distorted, but like echoey robotic. Like there's two of you. I think it's because the rain happened. Every time it rains, for some reason, my wireless starts dropping, and it's happened in the last two places I've lived. So who knows? <laughs> I blame the. It's the UK. You can you can genuinely blame the weather for most things. You can. Um, so yeah, that, that's our little particles party. Uh, we made three particles. I hope you had fun um, and you learned some stuff. But mm -hmm. I did. I always find these really, really interesting because I don't, I don't uh, get the time to play. Ryan. This might be a topic for later. Is there a way to have two particles synchronize, say an energy orb flying and training flame or smoke in a different color? So yeah, subparticles is a great way of doing that. You could also have child nodes, right? So you could have a parent node and then directly underneath that is a child node 
some of this is probably solves the problem more elegantly in that way. But if you wanted, say, orbiting around it, you could do a child known as an animation player, or you could just do a subparticle, and then it has an orbit velocity on it, so it knows to go around a certain point. That makes sense. Any other questions, concerns, thoughts, comments, jingles, or interpretive dances? Um, you should absolutely go check out Go 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 Jam 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 Jam, jam Four. Here it is. Uh, I was at all saying it. Boop. And uh, you should also check out Kenobi Games. That's us. The links are in the doobly do. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm Yan, and and that's Mikey. Hi. <laughs> Awesome. I really enjoyed that. That was a great dive into into particles and just particles in general. It's a great starting point for, um, as, as we saw there, you could create so many things from the flames to the smoke trails, whatever. And I, I want to play with Godot particles now for the rest of the evening, but I should I mean, do go it. for it. I need I, to eat. I should do other stuff. But... <laughs> I, I, I need food. I'm hungry. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us this evening. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope yep. you've been informed as much as I have as well. I hope you you had fun. Um, I hope you check out the jam and check out our courses if you feel like it, and uh, check out of hotels and yeah, just basically check out. <laughs> I don't. I don't have anything to add to that this evening. No, we, we haven't really <laughs> figured out how to end this stream, have we? We're just sort of like. Rambling. saying goodbye for the next half hour well thank you everybody for joining us this evening i will see you all thank next everybody. week where it'll be more of a blender focus and uh bye, bye. i can't do it while i'm waving so press it there we go press it bye press it. bye <laughs>